Hello everybody! Welcome to the hunting challenge! We're building an arrow backstop! Making it out of these four by fours that my son Dawson is playing with. And I got a six by four. I have a six by four horse mat that will do the brunt of the arrow stopping. So uh, yeah, just gonna be a quick how-to video on how to do that. Hopefully everything works. I got an idea in my mind. It's just a, I looked at different pictures and different videos and took bits and pieces from all that stuff. And this is what I'm making. So here we go. So the first thing I did, I had these four by fours laying around and that's the only saw that I have right now. And as you can see, it's not ideal, um, but I measured the pieces and the legs on each piece is 45 inches and then 51 inches on the other side. And then the top beam is 78 and a half inches across. As you will see later in the video, the reason why I made one size shorter was to have room for the wheels so I could make this as mobile as possible. So here I am just pre-drilling pilot holes. Uh, make sure you have a long enough bit that can go through all the sides and there I am scoring the top of the bottom posts. That way I'll be able to bring in, I think I had a five inch bolt. So I used two five inch bolts on, uh, on each side to secure these together. And I line it up, but I just make the marks and then there I just drill them a little bit deeper so the screw goes in or the bolt goes in a little bit easier. And again, I don't have the, a ratchet or anything, so I had to do the best that I could with the drill. And then as you'll see here shortly, I had to basically hand tighten everything down, which took a little bit uh, more time. So it definitely helps to have the right tools for this and I don't have them. I'm just doing the best I can with what I got. You can see that with the sawing and everything like along those lines. So now I just gotta do, do it this way. Finish this off. But it should hold tight. It should hold real tight. Next, I use the L brackets just for added support. I use those on the inside of the frame. All right, got the main frame done. Now I'm just gonna build the feet. Got some L brackets in there for reinforcement. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if I had a little bit of help, like somebody holding this stuff down and all, but it's getting there. Let's get the feet done. I uh, decided I wanted to get a chop saw and I'm borrowing one from my parents, so. I'm going to get that. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this thing today. If I had the chop saw to begin with, I probably would have. So, working with 4x4s, use a chop saw. I definitely would have been able to finish this. Uh, this is actually a compound saw, uh, and I can tell you one thing, that this is on my list to get uh, in the very near future. It makes life so much easier. So here I am just attaching the feet to the bottom of the posts. And again, the wheels are coming on. I'm measuring the wheels. The one thing I should have done is make the wheel base a little bit wider. Um, not sure why, what I was thinking is to put them so close together. It works still, but it would work a little bit better if, if the uh, wheels were a little bit wider. So if it's not level, that's because the ground's not level. <laughs> but it'll work. It'll work just fine. All right, guys, so all I need to do now is just put the mat on. I'll, uh, I gotta go do some daddy duty stuff, so I'll be putting that on at another time right now. All right, it's mat day.
So this mat wasn't the easiest to work with, um, but I, same deal. I just pre-drilled everything, these four bolts across the top to secure it, and uh, seems to hold pretty, pretty good. I might use a couple extra bolts, uh, but I'll do that in the future. I think I think I'll make a couple more addition. I like put a couple more of these bolts in, maybe like one there and one there, just for more stability. But I mean, it ain't going nowhere. And I could either shoot it to this side or that side. Doesn't much matter, but I'm not gonna test this. I mean, I am shooting heavy arrows and all that. Um, but in this video, I won't be testing it. I am going to retune my bow, um, paper tune it and all that, but I'll give a, I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen videos where guys take a shot at it and the arrows get stuck in it, which is good. Uh, but I don't know what, you know, what, what, uh, how heavy their arrows are or anything. So I'm curious to see what it does with the heavier arrows. At least I know it's going to slow them down, if not stop them. Um, but uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button, share it, and uh, let me know your thoughts. All right, see y'all.